Hey, good morning, it's Dr. James. I hope this message finds you happy, thriving, and well. It is so good to see you. Thank you for your time and thank you for your energy. And I'm gonna just set the tone for this message today. You are absolutely gonna love this. You're gonna find yourself fascinated. You may say, oh my goodness, I have to resurrect a part of me that I have long since let go of. And that is the part of you that loves to be, be an artist do art, create art, circulate art. Now you may be going, oh my gosh, I am not an artist. Well, here is the beautiful opportunity. Whether you love to draw, whether you love to paint, whether you love to dance, whether you love to do charades, anything under the sun that has a connection to promoting an art form. <laughs> promoting an art form. It's really just trying to be theatrical here. And this is based on some of the most amazing science on success in its relationship to how it is that the very best people in the world at their craft, at their focus, have another side hustle. And this is based on the research that comes out looking at all the Nobel Prize winners over the last 50 years. It could be in math, it could be in science, it could be in peace, it could be in no matter what it is, all the Nobel Prize winners tend to have one thing in common. All the people have a greater likelihood to win that prize if they have an art as a outlet, as a place that they go to go ahead and extend another part of their genius. This is very interesting because what we're finding is that people who've achieved the highest level of distinction, and I believe when you look at all the Nobel Prize winners, I mean, there is a high, high level of distinction. These are people the best in their field. And they have been voted in by the people who are the most prestigious people and say, that is a life-changing human being. They have put their focus, they have put their energy, they have, they have just gone all in on their craft. But as they unpack this and look at the story behind these winners, there is a five times greater likelihood that those winners have a side hustle. Over here, they are performing in uh, theater. And it could be just like little, little tiny theaters in their little towns. It could be they love to paint, they love to do poetry, they love to draw, they love to sing. Anything that they love to do in the spirit of completely outside of their field of Nobel Prize winning prowess and power, they're more likely to win if they're performing in some art. So I think the take home here is really beautiful. If you have an area that you are really, really going for in your life, this is the area that you love to excel. Don't be afraid to consider what may happen if you go over here and do a little performance. And I'm gonna be really honest with you. Right now, I am studying Spanish. That is a form of performing for me. Uh, I'm also studying conga drums, and that's another area that I'm, and, I, and I'm not good at either one of them, but I'm using it as a catalyst to help part the brains of my, <laughs> and catalyze the parts of my brain that want to work in the space of human potential and, and, and science and functional medicine. And, and, and it's just helping me be better over here by doing something uncomfortable in the relationship to the arts over here. So the opportunity is beautiful. It's science-based. It's empowering. It's a little bit humbling. But we get an opportunity to take a cue. And I think so often in life, you can look back when you were a kid and you, maybe you love to paint, you love to sing, you love to dance. And sometime along the path in life as you got adult, you let go of those things because they weren't, um, they weren't adult-like. Well, here's what we know. The people who are now in their 60s and 70s and winning Nobel Prizes, they've gone on to the third and fourth and fifth pieces of art. They, they, they all of a sudden picked up doing um, improv. They, they, and, and from improv, they've been doing theater. And from there, they've been doing painting. And they keep on evolving in their art. And over here, they become the very best in the world at their space of grace and the Nobel Prize winning opportunities. It's so cool to reclaim your childhood artistic flair and do not dim your light because you're now 40, 50, 60, 70 years old. It doesn't matter. In fact, it actually now matters more than ever. Bring your art forward as you bring your purpose forward and watch those two do a beautiful dance, okay? So much love and every blessing. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now.